an ambitious plan is underway to help prevent flooding in a coastal village in East Sussex. Residents in Pet Level are beginning a three-year project to use nature-based solutions to hold water within the landscape further up the valley. It's all being helped by a £395,000 grant from the Environment Agency, as our environment correspondent Yvette Austin reports. Homes and gardens underwater in pet level. Residents in this small coastal community were flooded twice last year and it's getting more frequent. It was very devastating because uh, it seemed Rosalie was in her sort of mid-80s. She'd been flooded three or four times and she was in total distress. So we went around her and I went around and helped a few others and with our wellies and sort of helped her out make sure she's okay. But it's, it's an ongoing thing now because every time it rains heavy, she is in a terrible state and often comes to see us because she just thinks it's going to happen again. And same with Anna next door, a young girl with two young babies. That she's the same. As soon as it rains, everyone's very, very anxious that it's all going to happen again. When it rains, it pours down the valley at a rate of around five tonnes a second. The big plan is to hold the water back and make it flow down much more gradually. This is Hastings and you can see Fairlight here and this is pet level where it floats. Now if we zoom down and actually look at this 3D map, we can actually see where the water, the rain pours down here in the flood time, comes into these rivers all the way down to pet level. So what we need to do is turn this area into a giant sponge that holds that water back. For the sponge to work, changes are necessary in the landscape. More natural heathy woodland is needed. That's got the soil underneath it to absorb and the plant's density to stop the flow of water. And then we're going to put licky dams in the ravines and the water channels. And they're just like beaver structures that will hold the water in the winter again slow and then slowly release it again taking that peak flow down to the point where the village won't flood anymore. The work will take time and money. An environment agency grant is coming in handy but the local MP says private investment will be needed too if we're all to cope with the challenges of climate change. This will help improve our infrastructure in order to be able to cope with the future of more rainfall in over autumn and winter but also warmer and drier summers which causes that ground heave a lot and this is what we're seeing with potholes as well so there's a lot going on at the moment that we need to figure out on how we're going to deal with it. In the meantime local residents live in hope of less rain. Yvette Austin, BBC South East Today, Pet Level.